Oh, it's not in executive office. It's nonetheless an important one. Joining me is rising senior Michael Nowak. He's a current junior class president. How are you doing? Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Good. Good. Um, what are the characteristics and qualifications of an effective class president, and how do you meet those standards? Well, I think motivation is probably the first characteristic that is needed. You have to be driven. Um, I think you have to be very much in line with the students. You have to have like the same similar needs. So you can, you know, it's it's great to be a leader. You know, if you have your own agenda, you know, it's not going to fly well with the rest of the class. So you really have to be much in line with the class, and that's what, you know, I feel that you know that I am. And you said that a leader should reflect their constituency. What mm -hmm. are the most important issues yeah. for the class that you're representing? Well, I think going senior year, it's, it's very different uh, being a senior as opposed to uh, everybody else because we're, we're on our way out. We have different needs. And I think one of those needs is that we want to have a secure future once we leave Elon. We all had fun here. We want to have a great last year, but we need to be secure, whatever our dreams, our hopes are post Elon. So, I'm no different than anybody else. I want to be at job, grad school. I really want to uh, you know, go forward with that, and I want to help the class do that. I want to give people the chances to grab internships that they want by pulling all the resources of Elon. And I think the most important thing, I want to have a good last year. I think everybody else can speak to that, too. They all want to have a good last year. So how do you think, specifically, SGA can help uh, the senior class in their transition to, quote unquote, the real world? Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think that SGAs is a means to an end and that you need to have a good leader to get there. And SGA has a lot of good resources. We have access to all career services. They're always willing to help us. Any administrator that we need help with, we can ask them, and they're going to help us. So we really, SGA is a really good way of pulling in all the resources to accomplish you know, what you want to get accomplished. And you held a uh, business seat yep. on SGA in the past. Um, do you think that there needs to be more financial transparency and more financial awareness within the organization, given your experience? I mean, I, I think there. Is, I mean, you can always. There's always room for improvement, no matter what you do. And I think that Elon, they, we have pretty good transparency with money. I mean, uh, Adam Walton's our uh, current treasurer. And every Thursday, if there's budgets that have to be brought up, he's always declaring them. I'm sure it could be more transparent to the public. Um, but I mean, I think for the, for the most part, it's okay. You can always improve, no matter what you do. So, how if you were elected, uh -huh. would you maintain that relationship with your class and ensure that their needs are being met? within your office? I mean, I mean, one of the big things I want to do is I, I want to pull in career services, all of the different um, career counselors, you know, in the business school and the communication school. I want us to have meetings where we could network with current alumni. I know we do that or now, but it's far and few in between. I want to do that regularly, have internship postings, help with resumes. I want to have, we, we did that for the junior class meeting. We, we brought in a couple of speakers and kind of real world experience and how you can uh, better leverage yourself. And I, I want to do that more to give people, you know, a fighting chance economy is tough. So I want to help out as many people as possible. Great. And now we'll toss it over to Randy for uh, Michael's opponent. All right. We're joined by Justin Peterson, who is the current executive president. Justin, how are you? Doing great. Thank you. And you are running for senior class president. So yes, let me ask, why aren't you running for re-election for executive president, and why are you running for senior class president? Yeah, I'd love to address that question. Um, I actually thought long and hard about it. Um, and, you know, it ultimately came up to a uh, conversation I had with my family. Um, you know, a little while ago. I love the position of executive president. I really do. I love it as much as anybody can. It's a great job, but it's very, very demanding. Um, and you know, I've been on SGA for three years. I've, I've really done a lot. And I believe that it's, it's appropriate to um, let somebody else who is more qualified than myself take over. It's, it's their time. They've proven it. And um, it would be selfish of me to run for re-election. And I'm really excited to run for senior class president because I've been in that office for two years. Um, my freshman year, my sophomore year, I know I can do it. I've enjoyed doing it in the past, and I'm excited to do it in the future. Now, you say you want someone qualified to take over your job. You've openly endorsed Evan Davis. Uh, this is unprecedented within SGA. It's never happened before. A sitting president endorsing a candidate. Why did you openly endorse somebody? Um, well, it never says that you can't. Um, it has been precedent in the past, but as I've always said in SGA, that just because it's not precedent, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. Um, you know, one thing that we've lacked, and I actually addressed this in my, uh, in my inauguration speech, was, you know, a hype for SGA, excitement, you know. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, the perception of SGA is a little dull, and I, I think that, you know, this kind of proves that we've gotten a lot of uh, attention from my endorsement. So, yeah. you know, I'm proud of my endorsement. There's nothing that says I can't do it. As long as I stay positive and there's nothing negative, I think it's a great thing. Well, you did write an article in the, uh, in the Pendulum, an op-ed that it didn't reference Taylor Martin by name, but I mean, you talk about experience. We can pull up uh, the, the graphic here. 
you say, if the Elon starting quarterback were chosen based on popularity rather than his ability to make the right decisions, Elon may never see a winning season. Are you saying that if Taylor Martin is elected, we won't see a winning SGA season? That's a tough question. But the answer is no, that's not it at all. Um, the reason why I wrote that article was to educate the student body on what it takes to be an executive president. Um, you know, I do acknowledge that a lot of the time our SGA elections can be based on popularity, you know, but it's not high school anymore, you know, and the executive president position in particular is very, very serious, and the qualifications for that, you know, need to be taken seriously as well. Um, so, no, not at all. It was, it was really written um, from my perspective as a sitting SGA president, stepping down as to, from, from my opinion, yeah. what is necessary. Now, um, you've been, I don't know if we have this graphic, but it's uh, in the pendulum, Justin, you said that your goal was to continue the projects and finish the goals set out by this year's executive council uh, by acting as a support to the incoming executives and to bring an exciting national speaker. So you say the word executive twice in your senior, in your senior class goals. Mm -hmm. Your opponent just says he wants to have a great year for the senior class. So do you want to be an executive or do you want to be a senior class president? I want to be a senior class president. As I addressed in the beginning, you know, I love the job a lot, but it's not for me this year, you know? Um, yeah. I need, to, I need to take a role that is uh, much more compliment, that, that will complement my schedule. Yep. Um, but from my experience as an executive, I believe and I know that I can definitely help the, new, the incoming executives do what they need to do, which is very, very okay. important. 